Well, that's another good man gone then, eh? Another box of confetti scattered over the pavement. Uh, make space in the waiting room. Two more for the marriage guidance, poor son. Ash, he's only got married. He hasn't died. Well, there's not much difference, is there? Hey, marriage, funerals, it's all a trip down Cemetery Road, isn't it? <laughs> well, you are in a cheerful mood. I'm sure they would have rated it as the happiest day of their lives. Well, the rest must have been pretty miserable, then. <laughs> anyway, I'm surprised to hear you sticking up for marriage. Well, I'm surprised to hear you criticising it. I thought in your eyes it could do no wrong. God's gift to men. Well, you've always put marriage on the same level as capital punishment. I've never had the slightest objection to other people getting married. I just never felt it was right for me. Well, he's making a big mistake with that one, old Martin, I reckon. Why did he meet her, anyway? Gah, I don't know. Bottom of a laundry bay, by the look of her. <laughs> you wait, they'll come back from honeymoon, they'll be divorced in a fortnight. Still, we might get our saucepans back, eh? <laughs> well, I thought she looked very nice. Yeah, it was a pity she hadn't shaved. Actually, she looked gorgeous. That dress was lovely. Well, so it should have been at 500 quid. What a waste of money, eh? Could have had 25 pairs of jeans for that. <laughs> you know, she looked a bit silly walking up the aisle wearing 25 pairs of jeans. Yeah, that's a big rip-off weddings anyway. I mean, there's photographers, car hire firms, caterers. They're all cashing in on other people's misfortunes. Still, we haven't got to do it. No. Well, we're happy as we are, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, we are, aren't we? Oh, happy as sand boys, us. Sand girls? Yeah, well, sand persons. <laughs> yeah, I suppose at one stage I did harbour yearnings to walk up the aisle and over the cliff with the rest of the lemmings, but, well, time's gone by, I've come round to your way of thinking, really. I mean, marriage, it's outdated, it's outmoded, you know, it's like judges' wigs and flared trousers. Yeah, well, that's what I've always thought. It's only done for the benefit of others. Exactly. I mean, in or out of wedlock, it's all the same to me. Well, you certainly changed your tune. Well, you can't go on whistling the same one forever, can you? Mm. Do you remember when you used to ask me to get married all the time? Oh, yeah, day and night, night and day. I was always popping the question, wasn't I? You were certainly persistent. Yeah, yeah well, I wouldn't give up without a struggle. <laughs> well, I wouldn't bother asking now. <laughs> oh, I see. So you wouldn't want to get married to me now? No, I'm just saying, why bring the subject up? You don't want to, so fine, let's forget it. Yes, actually, but I think I have a sense of commitment, which I sometimes feel is, well, a little lacking on your side. What? It's hardly me who's lacking commitment. I went down on my knees so many times proposing, I wore a hole in the carpet. <laughs> it was you who always said no. Yes, but I never wanted to get married, whereas you once did. Uh, so that shows a lack of commitment, does it? Well, it certainly shows you've changed. The fact that you wouldn't even ask anymore that's significant. Well, what's the point in asking for something when it's not on the menu? And who asked me, eh? When do I get the chance to turn somebody down? I see. Or in other words, you don't want us to spend the rest of our lives together, is that it? Did I say that? I did not say that. Where's that cat? Did I say that? <laughs> well, actually, if you're not committed enough to want to get married, even though we don't want to, quite frankly, I can't see much future in this relationship at all. Right, fine. Well, let's get flipping married, then. Right, fine. If that's your attitude, actually, right. Right, because there is no... <laughs> Was that an acceptance, then? Was that a proposal? Well, yeah, I suppose it was. Well, then, yes. I suppose it must have been an acceptance, then. Elaine, what have we done? <laughs> I don't know what came over me, Karen. No, I can see that. It wasn't so much him proposing that was the shock, it was the fact that I accepted. It's totally against my principles. Why did I do it? I expect Ash is really pleased. Is he? I think stunned is a better description. I don't really think he expected me to accept after having been against it for so long. Why did I change my mind? Oh, everyone's like that. I mean, my mother said she'd never have a microwave oven. Now she uses it all the time. Oh, well, too late now. I bet Ashley's over the moon, really. I think of all the people who've never even been asked to get married. Yeah. I'm the lucky one, eh? I'm the pint alone. Yeah, why not? I'm still young, free and single. <laughs> You're not fishing again, are you, Grandad? 
No, Ashley, I'm going out for a Chinese meal. <laughs> I always think it's safer to put on my waders when I'm having bean sprouts. <laughs> I'm too young to get married, Purse. We're all too young to get married, Ashley. We're too young to be born when we're born. We're too young to die when we die. We spend our whole lives not being ready for what's about to happen to us. I mean, were you ready to go to school when you were five? No. I had to prize me out the cupboard with a tyre lever. <laughs> were you ready for puberty when that came round? I haven't had it yet. <laughs> no. You see my flies, anyway? Well, didn't you get any with the trousers? <laughs> ah. Now then, look at this. Look at that for a fly. Died it myself. Yeah. Oh, but it's serious, Purse. I mean, my hands shake. I can't sleep during my lunch hour anymore. <laughs> my nerves are in a terrible state. I don't see what you're nervous about. It's what you've been wanting all the time, isn't it, you and Elaine? I mean, you bored us all so much about saying how much you wanted to get married. The least you can do is go through with it. You owe it, Ashley, to those of us who suffered. Yeah, I know. And don't forget, if you want someone to give you away, I'm your man. Yeah, well, I was going to ask, actually, if you're not busy that day, whether you'd be chief codger in waiting. <laughs> Your chances of getting a wedding present are disappearing by the minute. Oh, no, but seriously, first you'll do the honours, won't you? You know, be worse, man, lose the ring, get drunk, disgrace yourself, all that. It'll be a pleasure to let the side down, Ashley. <laughs> St Paul's Cathedral, is it? Well, we thought more Croydon Registry Office, actually. Ah. Uh, followed by a pub lunch afterwards at the Hen and Skittles. Yeah, better and better. Definitely sounds like my sort of do. Hmm. <laughs> it's funny you should uh, come round mentioning this today, because, uh, well, I'm thinking of doing a bit of work in the registry office line myself. Oh, yeah. And I thought, as I'm going to be your best man, you could be mine. Well, you're getting married. You? Well, don't look so surprised. <laughs> oh, I may be over 60, but nothing's dropped off yet. <laughs> Why are you getting married? What, you mean you and Joyce? No, Ashley, me and the bag lady down the tube station. <laughs> well, congratulations! Well, you kept that under your hat. <laughs> so she's finally making an honest man of you, mm. eh? Well, it's not before time either, if you want my opinion. No, I don't, Mash, not really. <laughs> well, this is a turn-up, isn't it? All of us getting married. <laughs> yeah. Your mum will be pleased about you and Elaine. Oh, yeah. Well, and you and Joyce. Mm. So, what did she say when you told her? Well, I was wondering if you'd do me a favour there, Ash. Oh. <laughs> uh... Well, it's not before time, Ashley. If you'd taken any longer to name the day, there wouldn't have been a day left to name that all have been spoken for. Well, I'm glad you're so pleased and over the moon about it all, Mum. Look, it's hard to be pleased, Ashley, after what I've had to put up with. You and Elaine living in, what do you call it, constipation all these years? Cohabitation. <laughs> Knowing if one day I wasn't going to wake up and find I'd turned into an unmarried grandmother. I mean, we've been living on the razor's edge, Ashley. I mean, there's never been any out of bedlock in this family, has there? <laughs> no, dear. So, shall we have a drink? What, drinks at this time of day? Well, just a small sherry to celebrate. It's not every day Ashley gets married, is it? It is getting to be any excuse at all with you. <laughs> Now, don't misunderstand me, Ashley. It's not that we're not pleased, but more than anything, we're relieved. Congratulations to you both, Elaine. Thank you, Mrs. Phillips. Oh, <laughs> I don't think you need call me Mrs. Phillips now, Elaine. <laughs> Just call me Mother. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mother. Do I get to call you Mother too, Mum? <laughs> or shall I just keep calling you Sir? Don't be facetious, Ashley. Cheers to the happy couple. Cheers. Cheers. We'd better start the arrangement soon. I mean, there's an awful lot to organise. I mean, there's guest lists, presents... Champagne. ...seating arrangements... Champagne. ...flowers... And I have to deliver my speech. Oh, oh no, Dad, really, don't bother. Seriously. No <laughs> problem, Ashley. I can use the one I used for Alan's wedding. Now, we must approach the vicar at All Souls. Now, he's a bit fussy about marrying couples who've been, um, in sin, but, uh, 
Ten pounds in the plate usually changes his mind. <laughs> oh, our bridesmaids, Colin. We mustn't forget bridesmaids. The thing is, Miss Mother. Oh, yes, we could ask the Tompkins sisters. But they're both over 70, Lillian. Oh, well, they'll no, no, notice. They'll be all right with a bit of makeup. <laughs> the thing is, we decided we wouldn't get married in a church. Not in a church? Well, no, we thought we'd have an intimate affair in the registry office. Registry office? You don't get married in an office. You keep filing cabinets in it. <laughs> we just thought we'd have a quick splice in the registry office and then a drink in a pub afterwards. A drink in a pub? <laughs> a pub, Ashley? A pub? I quite like pubs. <laughs> yes, Colin. Oh, well, I mean, this is just one blow after another. You are twisting the knife in a mother's heart. Ashley, you have brought me nothing but disappointment since the day you were born, and even then you were supposed to be twins. <laughs> really? Two girls he was supposed to be, Elaine. I, I thought I might get a little bit of help with the housework. <laughs> there you are. And as for your grandfather, well, there's another disappointment. Why, well, was he supposed to be twins as well? <laughs> Has he taken leave of his senses, plighting his troth with fancy women? Oh, Mum, Joyce is hardly fancy. You mean he's hardly fussy? <laughs> a man of your grandfather's age shouldn't need to get married. It's not as if he couldn't buy a bag of oven chips. <laughs> you can't cuddle up on the sofa to a bag of oven chips. Oh, <laughs> men of your grandfather's age should be past cuddling up on sofas. They should have left sofas behind them. We have, haven't we, Colin? Yes, dear. <laughs> I mean, it should be armchairs six feet apart. Well, that's one wedding I certainly will not be attending. Well, that might be a bit difficult, Mrs Phillips. If you come to ours, you can't really avoid theirs. You see, we thought we'd make it a double wedding. <laughs> What's this, Ashley? Yeah, we, we thought we'd have a double. Oh, you're having a double, Ashley? <laughs> I'll join you, if I may. 